What's going on? We are live. This is Daniel Cho, aka Freedom Warrior. Thank you for joining me on this live during this beautiful weekend. And today we have a very, very special guest. So basically, he is my partner, my student, Aoi. Okay. And the reason why I bring him on this show because he just recently start started working with me for the past four weeks, and he has made over four. High ticket sales in just four weeks. Okay, starting from scratch, using our three-step formula. So, I mean, he just recently traveled back. Actually, last night from his business trip. Okay, so he's still working for his nine to five while he's building his online business. So today he's gonna take you behind the scenes and show you step by step what exactly. Okay, we all we all hear people talk about my three-step system. But how he actually implemented what exactly he said to his prospects. So I show you.、Uh, he's gonna show you step by step exactly how he, how he, how how he how he made four high ticket sales in just four weeks. Okay. So let's welcome Aoi. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey. How are you? Hey, Daniel. Very well. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Nice to see you. See you on the show. I think the. Uh, because we just recently get started, and a lot of people—I mean,、uh, right now you are making waves, and people are start paying attention to you, which is super, super exciting. And today, I know you already prepared some presentation. You're gonna show people the three-step formula that you are doing, exactly how you do it. So yeah, let's bring up, bring up your your presentation, and while you're gonna talk about your your backstory, so let me let me bring that up. So yeah, go ahead. Tell us、uh, who you are, what you do, and、uh, and also just share with us what exactly you did in the past four weeks. Awesome. All right. So first off, thank you so much.、Uh, super excited and and honored to be here.、Uh, my name is Alwi Batarilan, and as Daniel said, zero to three point five k in thirty days, and as of yesterday is actually the fourth、uh, high ticket sale.、Um, so I figured I will kind of. Share a little bit about myself and walk through the process because some of this information is fundamental to understand. So first off, in the image on the left hand side,、uh, I'm basically a family man. That's my wife. That's my、uh, baby Frenchy Mochi who sleeps with me every day.、Uh, and during the day, I'm a corporate nine to five guy. Actually, the reality is more like seven to ten, right? Because we work more than twelve hours most days.、Um, I am a you know regional. Advertising and marketing specialist slash consultant. I've led brands like Nestle, Apple, Coca Cola, and by night I am a fitness junkie, instructor, spin instructor for、uh, live classes and studios as well. So <laughs> interesting mix, right?、Um, yeah. So just to、um, take it a step back a little bit and just share about my journey. So I've tried this business like you know on and off many years. Um, properly in 2019, I started off with drop shipping,、uh, and this is actually one of my screenshots. Made about 50.5 k in terms of revenue. I spent like almost 25, at, sorry, 28 grand on Facebook ads, and you know I think I did this for about four months.、Uh, spent a ton of money. Probably made like maybe five percent, eight percent profit at the end of that four months, which is not worth it versus versus what I made. So I eventually quit that,、um, and then. Not long later, in 2020, I started to do video reviews.、Uh, this is one of the first ever YouTube videos that I put on. I、um, made one sale, but honestly, it took me so long to, you know, get approved and learn about the product and edit the video. I thought, oh no, this is not worth my time, so I quit. <laughs> and then in 2021, end of last year,、uh, I decided to to do a last go, and this time in affiliate marketing because you know I really wanted to try and achieve that financial freedom. So I started off with low ticket, made a bunch of sales.、Uh, profit level wasn't necessarily high,、uh, and not too long later, I actually honestly wanted to quit again and say goodbye for good. But、um, I thought there is one thing that I've never done in my entire、um, online business journey. It was to invest in a program that will teach me the, the knowledge. And as well as invest in the person. So fast forward、uh, this year, I think around April, I you know did my research just like everyone else. Research what's the best program out there. After I narrowed down which is the two programs, I then research who's the who's the two people that I probably want to work with. And that's when I dropped you the message. <laughs> I, see, I sent I you see, this I message. <laughs> 
Uh, I sent this message. I was like very in. I was very sure already because I followed you for quite some time. And um, yeah, fast forward to about two weeks later, I wrote this post where we uh, where we had our first week of the six week high ticket bootcamp. And I want I highlighted a specific line here that says the path to success has never been clearer and never been more realistic more than ever. The only way to fail now is if I do not take daily consistent action. Because when you shared with us the overall strategy to me, it just made complete sense that if I don't take action, uh, is the only way that I would fail, all right? And fast forward later, made my second high ticket sales literally four days after making this uh, post. And by day 30, third high ticket sales. And, and by yesterday, fourth high ticket sales. So it's crazy. That's um, crazy. Oh, That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, if, I, if, 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 I may, if I may ask, I mean, uh, uh, how, how, how much money do you need to make per month in order to replace your 9 to 5, if that's your goal? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it was a hard one to think about. I would say about ten thousand dollars. Okay, ten grand. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. And also, yeah, before you move on, okay. I mean, I also want to, if you are just tuning in on this live, okay. Today we're gonna drop. Always gonna drop so many gold nuggets, and because sometimes you hear me talk, you hear other seven figure earner talks. That may be different, okay. I just recently got started, and he is achieving amazing results. So he is gonna be sh he is gonna be showing you okay at a similar level so you can see exactly what he does okay because if you apply what he will be teaching you step by step follow it in a certain sequence with consistency you're gonna get gonna get results okay so if you are just tuning in drop hashtag live if you are watching this play okay drop hashtag replay. So we can get this video out to as many people as possible, okay? So everybody can take what we have been doing and start implementing that in their own business, regardless if you decide to work with us or not, okay? Because I believe system works, human fails, okay? So you can, I don't care what program you are in, just take this three-step formula away and put in the work, okay? I see a lot of people tuning in right now. Hey, what's up, kid? What's up, Nam Arnold, Facebook user. Sorry, I cannot see him. Christopher, my man. Hey, Anthony, thank you for tuning in. So yeah, Awi, go ahead, keep going. All right, what's up, Wealth Warriors? <laughs> okay, so the crazy thing about this, right, is that I essentially did it without having my own sales funnel, without having my own email autoresponder, and without uh, spending a single penny on paid ads, right? So if this is crazy, guys, just drop a one. Uh, if you guys agree with me that this is absolutely ridiculous, right? So fundamentally, um, what I did was I use Facebook organic uh, for high ticket, and I use uh, my TikTok with low tick uh, with with uh, low ticket. So let me start with TikTok first. The only reason why I use TikTok is because when I was promoting low ticket offers, I was actually building my TikTok profile. So I thought might as well use it. But I haven't post like created an original post in the last month and a half because I simply didn't have the time to. So fundamentally, I focus where the money is, uh, and that's with Facebook organic. So before I go into that three step process and kind of deep dive into exactly what do I do, I want to um, explain this super fundamental important thing because 90% of people today are doing Facebook organic, but they're missing this key uh, fundamental point. All right. And that point is everything that we do with Facebook organic revolves around the no factor, the like factor and the trust factor. This to me is the difference between someone who knows what he's doing with Facebook organic and the person who doesn't know what they're doing, right? Um, the principle is quite simple. Firstly, when it comes to high ticket sales, people need to know who you are, right? Once they know who you are, they eventually will like you based on the type of content, based on the way that you share your thoughts, your, your thinking, your reasoning. And once they like you, they eventually trust you. And that's the ultimate key, right? Once you have that trust, it doesn't matter what you are essentially recommending to these people, as long as it makes sense, they will buy from you. 
right? So if you see all these um, content pieces, I took a screenshot of my profile, every single one of these content pieces that I put out has a an objective behind that drives either the no, drives either the like, or drive either the trust factor, right? And also, let me sorry to interrupt. Right, you guys, if you are just tuning in, okay, let me let me pop up, okay, let me pop up Awe's Facebook profile, okay. Take a screenshot on this one, or you can find Awe after the training. If you have some questions you want to ask him, but mainly, okay, I want you to observe what Awe is doing, okay, on the side as another fellow marketer, okay. So you got you can go back to Awe's Facebook profile starting from april i forgot what date okay mid april that's when he started contacting me when we started working together so you can check what exactly he did before that date you're gonna see it, okay you're gonna see an updated banner i think that's the very first post so you can see the posts before that one and also every post he put out till from that day mid april till today so you can basically uh piggyback to what Awe is doing, okay, exactly every single day. So go ahead, Awe. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's a super important point because <laughs> when I did this, I literally was building it from zero when I contacted Daniel. Um, so I managed to do it in a short span. I believe you guys too uh, can do it as well, uh, provided you understand the, the principles, okay? So uh, as I was saying, every single post has a reason, right? In this post on the right-hand side here, here essentially I'm telling people, you know, that I'm a family man, I just turned 36. Um, this post gives them an idea of what am I as an individual, what is my passion point outside of work. Um, this somewhat helps to build some trust because I started to have some kind of success. And then this one essentially shows that I also invest in myself because I invested in the six-week high-ticket bootcamp. So every single post has an objective. And when you uh, line it up correctly, it plays into a very nice uh, sales funnel light because that's what Facebook organic is about. Whenever someone comes into your profile, your sales funnel starts, right? Because you they are coming into the world of Alwi Batarilan. Who am I? What do I do? What do I think? What do I like? Uh, so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the three-step system fund uh, or three-step process fundamentally comes into number one, finding those hot leads. Right. And number two, building those relationships and third, closing those sales. Right. So I, I, I will start with finding hot leads. I really like this picture a lot because you see a jigsaw puzzle. Right. So I want you guys to think of you being the person on the right where you have a piece of a puzzle that has a perfect hole that needs to be fit. OK, so this is us with a product that solves a specific problem. And if you look at the puzzle on the right, we're trying to find this person who has that missing piece, who has that problem that our product can solve. If you put them together, you have a super hot lead, right? I hope it makes sense for you guys. Um, and when it comes to building relationship, I'll just touch upon it very quickly. Um, when it comes to Facebook organic, I, I want you guys to think about building relationship um, in real life, right? How do you build a relationship with a person that you just met? right? Um, so a lot of people misunderstand this concept because just because we are on social, it means that we need to build relationships in the form of a robot. But actually, it's a very, you know, like real life relationship. Yeah. And the last bit is on uh, closing sales. So these are the three step process. I'll go through very quickly on each of the steps and give you guys some examples so you will make more sense for you. Okay. Uh, before you move on, are we, hey, if you guys, if you think you do receive value, okay, I mean, yes, Although Awe just got started online building his online business, but you actually seen like Coca Cola marketing strategist putting everything together in front of you. Okay, so if you think that you receive value, drop number two. Okay, let's create more engagement. Drop number two, let's support Awe. I mean, and and there are a lot of detailed stuff. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna be showing to you guys. But I want to put a stop right here. I want everybody engaged. Everybody pay attention, okay? Because there, he's gonna be sh be showing you how come he can tie everything together and made suddenly made four high ticket sales in such short period of time without any credibility, without any authority, starting from scratch, okay? So yeah, I see a lot of number two coming in. Very good. 
I'll go ahead. Awesome. Thank you guys for that support. Definitely helps. <clears throat> okay. So finding hot leads, how do we find them, right? So again, I'm a, I'm a very basic fundamental kind of guy. I like to understand the definition and the purpose because I believe when we understand the overall fundamental, we are able to manipulate the system. Okay. So in this case, we obviously use Facebook groups. You probably already know that. But what you did know was that Facebook's ultimate mission is to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together, right? So this is why Facebook is so powerful when it comes to Facebook groups, because Facebook's mission is to put like-minded people into this Facebook group where they can connect, right? So it doesn't matter what niche you're in. In our case, affiliate marketing. So I just did a quick search. So these are a couple of um, affiliate marketing groups that we can look into. But there's a few criteria that we need to uh, think about. The first is we want to look at private groups because non-public uh, groups generally means very, very low quality uh, types of uh, audiences. And the second thing is, if possible, try to join paid groups. Why paid groups? Because we know that every person in a paid group have actually taken out their wallet and bought something. So they are, are really a paying customer, which is the kind of customer that we would definitely want. And the third thing is add as much value as possible. Now, I know that some of these things I'm telling you is obvious. People have pretty much covered this to death. But the last point, when I say add value, um, help people as much as you can. Go out of your way to do whatever it is, right? Never leave like a single line comment. If you can, drop some kind of knowledge. And these things, when, when used together, really, really works very well. So this, to me, is the best way to find um, that extremely hot leads, right? And another point that I just want to share is it's much easier to convince someone who is already aware about affiliate marketing than it is to convince someone who has no idea about affiliate marketing, right? So that's the kind of audiences that we don't want. So a hot lead is people who's already aware about uh, the business model and knows roughly how it works. The only thing that we need to do is kind of help push them to the edge and bring them over to our um, offer. Awesome. Thanks, Nathan. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, building relationships, right? The second step, right? So using Messenger. Messenger is absolutely ridiculous, right? I, I heard this many times and I can say it now. All the magic happens in Messenger, okay? So I wanted to give you guys some actual life example on how you build relationship with people after you've connected with them through groups um, or, or anywhere in Facebook, okay? So the first one right here on the left is basically a guy who added me on Facebook, right? And the first thing I did, remember how I said, treat Facebook like you would treat a uh, real life relationship, right? When you see someone, you will generally try to strike a conversations before you get to know them, right? So this guy, when he added me, I took the effort to actually look at his, look at his profile and I noticed that he indicated that he was an NYPD retired detective. So the first thing I told him, this is the very top of the conversation is, I'm not in trouble, am I, detective, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because it's, it's, again, I always bring real life. It's an icebreaker. Every time you meet a stranger or you go for a company trip, what's the first thing they do? They plan icebreaking activities. The moment we broke that ice, you see from his first reply, you knew already we were going to, you know, get started in a very nice direction, right? Yep. So just, just one example. The very second good, one good. was... Yeah, the second one was by this person who I felt so bad. I found her in one of the groups. She said she got scammed by $10,000 and stuff like that. I tried my best to really help her. Genuinely, I wasn't thinking about money, sale, nothing. I just wanted to help her because, you know, not everyone in, 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 in this industry is a scammer, right? So um, after I helped her, I just dropped her a voice note, a way of personalization because I really wanted to. And I said something like, hey, I know that, you know, lots of people has probably, um, uh, you've lost faith in people, but not everyone is bad, right? So if you still need help or anything like that, feel free to reach out to me and just read the message, right? This is things that money can't buy. This is like the sincerity that people feel, right? When you have some kind of personal con uh, connection with them. That, and the last one, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. 
Yeah, and the last one is uh, someone who actually reached out to me, um, and obviously whatever I've done with my Facebook profile had kind of given him an idea that he dived straight in. <laughs> the moment he added me, um, he he sent me a message. I replied him, and you see, he just dropped his entire. Uh, problem because the first thing I probably asked him was, um, all right, so what, what, you know, like, what do you feel is your problem? You know, like, what, what, how can I help you today? Something like this. I can't remember exactly what I said, but immediately they tell me. And that's the reason of how I usually build the relationship because I listen to what they have to say as a good friend would, as a best friend or a husband to a wife. And I take notes on what they tell me. And I, when I respond, it's it's always different depending on who I speak to because that's what you will do in real life, right? You won't respond the same way to your mom or your brother or a friend. So that's the power of personal connection and the power of when you have genuine intentions to really help people. Yeah. That's very good. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, what are we showing you is gold nuggets here. Okay, it looks so it looks so simple, but you will be surprised more than 90 percent of people okay even though everybody knows about it but i don't know if you if if somebody don't do it because of the doubt anxiety or whatever okay but you can see i mean our way he's working for coca-cola marketing department you see professional how he does things the reason why i want to bring this up because just it, it was because our way he was genuinely trying to help everybody out Okay, I mean, that's the best way for you to get started. Okay, just help as much as you could. That's the best way for you to build your, your credibility before you even think about making money. I mean, every day I got questions from from people, right? Uh, like today, I had I had another question. Uh, there's no right or wrong because everybody is learning. But I just want to give you another example for your comparison. Sometimes I do receive questions from people asking, hey, I just sent my prospect this information. I asked him some questions. He hasn't got back to me. What else information can I, what what information should I should I send to him? What 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 presentation, what offer can I send over right now? Okay. That's 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 wrong. That's not that's not the right way to do it. Because if you do send something to somebody and he hasn't even got back to you, uh to your original question, yes, you should follow up, but you should not throw any new stuff to that person, right? You should genuinely follow up and ask that prospect whether he has some questions, he or she has some questions about you about filling out your questionnaire if he or she needs your assistance in answering your question i mean you, you see i mean if you genuinely try to help other people you will think about what other information will offer should i should i throw at him right let me help him or her first i mean just some minute detail i want to bring it up sorry i will keep going no worries yeah it's it's super important uh, details actually which kind of reminds me uh, I get a lot of people asking me, how do I make the pitch? What do I say in it? Is there a script to follow? To be honest, I never once follow a script because it's about the genuinity of helping that person. You have to be a very good listener to understand and identify how to help them and everything else will just flow, to be honest. Uh, so the, the first person that bought from me asked me, are you reading a script right now? How come you're saying the right things at the right time? And I was like, dude, I can send you a screenshot. You know, I'm listening to what you're saying and I'm trying to actually help you, uh, even though whether you buy or not, you know, something like this. Yeah, right. very good, very good, very good. All right, so the third step is ultimately closing the sales, right? So it can happen in Messenger, it can best happen in Zoom calls, and of course that irresistible offer has to be there to really um, push people over the edge. But I think the key takeout here is help people first, ask later, or best of all, not ask at all. I know this sounds absolutely ridiculously insane, but these are some of the live chats that will show you that me, I didn't ask, they essentially tell me that hey you know if you will send me a link i will i want to make a payment and will put his email in look i didn't ask this guy that's the he best should, that's <laughs> yeah. the best right so so that sets the crazy thing right um people can feel your sincerity your genuinity from the way that you write from the way that you sound and from the way that you behave or present yourself in a zoom call 
And the last thing people want on Facebook is to be sold something, right? So this reverse method works the best in my opinion. So this is also another example, the second one. Um, just to show you guys how a simple casual conversation goes into full on sales mode, right? So here, this lady was saying, I will make uh, chicken burgers and veggies. And I said, oh, please send me some. It's a normal conversation. And see the next thing that she sent, I'm listening to XXX. When I make the payment, I'll let you know when we can get started. I was like, boom, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> right? And, and I think just to really summarize uh, everything that I shared, um, this right-hand side, I, I don't know if you guys can read it. I shared, I made this post earlier on, and these are the three really, really important things that I feel makes the whole difference when it comes to Facebook organic. The first is ultimately you want to promote something that you truly believe in and stand behind 100% because uh, a consumer is not a moron. They are so much smarter than you, th than you think they are, right? If you are uh, BSing them or if you are lying to them, they will know it right off the bat. But if you are really genuine and sincere and really believe what you're doing, they will feel it from, the, from your words, from your actions, from your body language, right? And um, what I shared, help first and ask later or not ask at all, super powerful, absolutely, absolutely powerful. If there's one takeout, this would be it, right? And the third last thing is be brutally honest and sincere. This is something that I, uh, I don't know if anyone can teach. This is something that we are naturally born with as an individual personality. So my way of doing it is literally telling people the things that they don't want to hear, right? So for example, people will always ask the question, can I really, uh, can I make my money back within 30 days? I'll tell them, honestly, I have no idea. It could be six months, it could even be a year, maybe even two years, because it really depends on how quick you are and how much of an action taker you really take, right? Do I throw people? I am not sure, but so far it, it works for me, right? And right. also because this business, too many people has sold that false dream that many people has already probably been, you know, bitten once or twice. So the I feel by being brutally honest and sincere, um, that's one way that I'm making a completely different positioning for myself versus everyone else. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And and yeah, I also want to uh, enhance that, okay? I mean, yeah. I always example okay i i through my journey okay right now i do i don't need to i'm at the stage i don't need to have i don't need to go out to find leads basically and throughout the, this journey i got questions asked to me all the time right how come how how you attract leads why people come to you right uh, on the surface level people will think it was because of my income screenshot which is which is understandable okay but I'm telling you, that's not the reason. That's not the reason why people come to me. Okay, so you got to you got to put everything together. It's not rocket science, but there are certain procedure you need to do it. Okay, like what I we did. If you do it properly, okay. If you apply what myself and Nate are teaching, and also what I we will be teaching to the marketplace, you're gonna get results as well. You just need to do things in a certain way okay so yeah. i'm opening up opening up for all the questions if you have any questions you want to ask our way okay regardless what program you are promoting any questions you have in terms of growing and scaling your online business if you have any questions you want to ask our way or ask myself drop them down below okay drop them down below in the comment section uh let's spend last three five minutes if you have any questions, we're going to answer your questions, okay? So drop your questions, yeah. comment down below. If you don't have any questions, if you do think you receive value, smash the love button, okay? Crazy smash the love button so we can create that engagement. Yeah, maybe while, while waiting, Daniel, I'll have to second what you said. The first person that bought for me knew that I did not make a single sale. So obviously sale did not matter to him. The second person that bought to me didn't even care if I made a sale. She didn't even care about the product. She cared about me. So people buy from people, not from products. So I'm a big believer in it. <clears throat> exactly. Oh, thank exactly, you. man. Exactly. Yes. So, so take always suggestion. Okay. 
uh, and let me bring up his the uh, bring up his the uh, uh, Facebook profile. Connect with him. Take a screenshot. Find him on Facebook and go to his Facebook profile. Back, I mean, piggy back on what exactly he did. Okay, and that's on the surface level. At least you can learn what kind of content he put out. What's his first post? What's his second post? And what he did behind the scene, what he said to people on Messenger, on Zoom calls, he already he already told you, right? He already told you. You see how he did? Just genuinely help the other people, the other person out. So go follow Awi, piggyback, study what he did. If you have any question, reach out to myself, reach out to Awi, okay? And uh, yeah, he's gonna help you take a look at your current business stuff and maybe give you some some pointer so you know which direction you should work on. So let me see. That's all, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will see you in my next lives. Take care. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.